welcome to or welcome back to No Pants Profits. My name's Richard. I'm here with Trish and Pirate Captain Bill. Pirate Captain Bill. We have so many people. We don't have enough microphones today. Uh, and we are in where? Where are we geographically, Trish? Port Orange. Port Orange. And where is that? By Daytona. It's south of Daytona. It, it seems to be like like a couple miles south of the pier in Daytona, correct? Yep. And we are at a brewery, right? Of course. Dunes Brewery. brewery. Yep. And Dunes is really, it's kind of right off the beach, isn't it? It's yeah. like, I, I'm surprised by two things. How easy it was to find parking here on Labor Day weekend. And number two, that the prices are actually not that bad. I mean, uh, we got uh, two big beer pours for five bucks because uh, it's Monday through Friday. They got a happy hour from yep. 11 to four. Also, for some reason, I'm sitting in a throne because it is the, the Game of Thrones. And Trish and Bill are sitting in a squire. <laughs> they're, sitting in, <laughs> they're sitting in the squire's nest. Um, so we've gotten a bit of all of their beers that they have here. I don't believe your beer is their beer. I don't know. It says it's Ace Cider. It's a cider. They, they usually Ace. have several. Si oh, okay. Ace, That's what it said. Okay. Ace is like a big cider company. Because they usually have some of their own but, cider. Just for giggles, let us try the cider. What flavor is it? Did they tell you? Guava. Guava. So they should be putting this with cheese in a pastry in South Florida or Cuba, correct? And it's good. I've had this one before. You've had this one before? Yeah. Usually there's Ooh. two ciders. Damn, that smells good, actually. It's good. I might get one of those, too. There you go. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's good. Mm. So, so the head brewer here was the head brewer at another brewery in Orman that's gone. Which one? Uh, it was called Beachside Brewing. It was and, called Beachside. And he, they left, or he left, the brewer left, and like everything he brewed was amazing. And, and how then, far are we from Orman? For Orman, mm -hmm. 20, 20 minutes. minutes. Yeah, yeah 20, 25, 20, 30, 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah, depending on okay. traffic. But once he left and we went back to Beachside, we're like, every, be every beer before was like amazing. So he's here now? He's he, he Yeah, he's the brewer here. All right. But like, we knew he left because we went back to that other brewery and not one beer was drinkable. And we're like, what happened? And the brewer left. So right. that's so, where he is now. That's not, I don't think that's the brewer yeah, here. Yeah, I don't think so. But we got a flight of four plus one more, plus there's a Saison. I'm not in love with Saisons, but we may Get stop the video and try the try the Saison. Bill, what is that? That is a Caribbean stout, stout yep. correct? Right. And uh, what makes it different than a Bud Light? Not a Bud Light, sorry. A regular stout? What makes stout? it different than a Guinness? Uh, it's, it seems a little lighter, I guess. Does it still have that coffee flavor, the cocoa nib flavor? Yeah, just a little bit. Just a little bit, all right. Then we're gonna try these. And we're gonna rank them. Hmm. Yeah? It is a little bit lighter. It's a little lighter, yeah. Well, that's what she said. It's a little bit lighter. It's a little bit lighter. I'm not sure what makes it Caribbean. Yeah, I'm on our token and Jamaica now. We just finished the stout, bro. Bullet, 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 bullet. What? It's early for that. I don't know what makes it the... The other Caribbean stout I had before, I had like some fruit, but I'm not getting that. This is like stout stout, but it's not as heavy. It's a stout stout. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, it's just not as heavy. All right. Now we go to the tiny glasses. These are for Donald Trump's tiny hands. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know or for Tommy's tiny hands. You know what they say about people with tiny hands? They get tiny glasses. They get tiny glasses, yes. You guys thought I was going somewhere else. No. No, no I'm not Where going somewhere else. Go All right. Blonde. <laughs> Am I on the right side here? No, you went probably went to the IPA. I think the blonde was here. Yeah, that was the IPA then. Sorry. <laughs> blonde. <laughs> yeah, here. It's a blonde. Yeah. You can crush that while you're mowing the lawn all day long. Yeah, it's it's blonde. <laughs> it's like water. A little bit flavored water, hoppy flavored water. Then we have a uh, black lager. Oh yeah. Shit, you know what I'm afraid of? <laughs> my, credit, my credit score. <laughs> Your credit score. That was a joke. It's a joke, my credit <laughs> score. Hmm. It doesn't smell like a stout. 
because it's not. It's just black. I can't say I've ever had that before. It, it no, kind of tastes. Not, that's a black lager. I said it's a black lager. That's what I said. I, said, I, thought you said I said it doesn't stout. smell like a stout. Oh, I'm sorry, I misunderstood. Yeah, no. It's just like a heavier lager. You get a little bit of the back end of the coffee stuff in there. Coffee or chocolate, like cocoa nibs. There's some cocoa nibs. Yeah. Definitely. I think I'm getting more cocoa than coffee. More cocoa than coffee. Yeah. Right? I agree with that. All right, don't finish it. Because we might need to go back, because we're going to rank them. All right, next up, we skipped the Saison, and now we're in a traditional lager. This might mean, honestly, you're going to laugh, guys. Maybe if you take that and that and you mix it, that's how you get a black lager. Yeah, Probably. Maybe. You know what the name of this black lager is? Aiden. <laughs> and you, you guys aren't going to get it. You guys aren't going to get it. But it's funny. It's very funny. Okay. Honestly, of the beers so far, I, again, I can't really count that Ace Cider. Yeah. This lager is probably the best of them. I don't like lager, so... I like a nice, smooth lager. Yeah. I like the okay. black lager better, personally. You yeah, like the oh, black yeah. lager better? Yeah. Ah, oh, you're right. Shut up, I know it. All right. And last but not least here, the IPA, but we're going to have to get a saison. Yeah. Saison. You're going to have to. Just to the, try it. Yeah. <laughs> then we but can rank everything. They usually have a couple more beers, I think, because they had the big giant festival this weekend. That, yeah, they're selling, uh, yeah. they're selling Michelob Ultra. No, but I think that they sold out of a lot of their stuff because their board usually has, is full. Well, like, they usually have a couple of... This is what's left. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that IPA is pretty good. Four IPAs. That IPA is pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's the one I think you usually drink here. Yeah, and so for, for me, there's like a hop in that one I don't like. Some IPAs I love, other ones I don't. And that one is the one that I... That's yep. the one you really like. Yep, that's, this is a solid IPA. Okay. A solid IPA. Yeah. It's an IPA's IPA. It's a man's man. <laughs> All right. We can't really rank these until I get the Saison. I should have gotten the Saison before. The problem is math didn't really work. Bang, 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 bang. Uh, so bang, bang. Bang, bang. Now, Trish traditionally likes Saisons. Yeah. We had a Saison yesterday at... Wow. Nice. We had a Saison yesterday. Oh, that's, that's the water. The, the Bud Light holder <laughs> fell down. Um, Saison yesterday at the Bog, and that Saison was trashable. Oh, you loved it. <laughs> you drank it, as I remember. So, so inside baseball, I went ahead and I had a whole... Oh, I, I tried 11 or 10 different beers, and then I tried them all within about 17 seconds of each other. Yeah. And I went to the bathroom because uh, my <laughs> stomach was like, eh, I don't really like all those things mixing together. <laughs> I heard. And, uh, yeah. But uh, before we rank all these, let me go get a Sazon. And then we can kind of rank what's here, talk about what's here. So pause. Pause for a moment. By, by pause for a moment, I mean I just need to hit this button on my, my phone. We're going to pause for a moment. And then we are going to move on to the Sazon and then rank everything right here. Stay tuned. So we are back. We are back with the last beer on the board. Uh, now this is one that this is a style that Trish Trish traditionally likes. Uh, I do also want to correct something. Uh, they have never made cider here. Okay. No, no. no just, for some reason, for the, I thought they did. They've they've always used Ace. Okay. Which is a pretty big cider owned by Budweiser. Uh -huh. Owned by Budweiser. It's good. It's good. That was the first one we had. But I'm just. Letting, letting the internet know. But I think they did have somebody else's craft cider yeah. on here before. So not just Ace, but... This is better than the size on we had at Bog yesterday. Yeah. But it would still probably be at the bottom of my list. That's okay. Saison's always taste a little skunky to me. Is it ginger? No, it's 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 just the the lactal in there makes it taste a little no, no. skunky. Uh, I, I have no idea on uh, what kind of a. I wonder if it's on their menu. What the layout is? I'm getting ginger, which I'm not a ginger person. 
Oh. Better than yesterday's. Bit. Yeah. Oh. Are yeah. you getting ginger? Yeah, just a little bit. All right. So. Yep, it's sorrel and ginger saison. Oh, okay, you got, okay, perfect. Hold on, you've got the menu up, Trish. Yeah. Let's go over these again then, okay? The menu's live. The blonde. Yeah, I'm going. Give people some ideas on the blonde. Blonde, okay, Mrs. Blumstead Blonde. Easy drinkable, very approachable, a light colored, clean ale with a mild hoppy finish, 5.8%. All right, that's the first one here. Next up, you wanna try that one again? That's the, I got a little Bud Lighty on that, on the back end. Probably compared to actually drinking the other. Oh yeah, a lot more now. I don't know, maybe yeah. the, the, the sais maybe. Saison brought out the Bud Light it's flavor. It's a drinkable Bud Light, where Bud Light's not drinkable. It's not like a Drud, Drud Life. Drud Life, do you remember that one? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bud Life. Yeah. All right, now we got the black one. You got ideas on the black one? Uh, Black lager? Is it there? Yeah. Yeah, black lager. Let, let people know what it is. Uh, smooth dark beer with restrained roast has a slight sweetness and mild bitterness, and it is 5.7. Sounds like me. <laughs> slight sweetness, mild bitterness. Uh, no, you're you're bitter. You're I'm not, not that bitter. You're not mild bitter. I'm not that bitter. <laughs> okay, medium bitter. <laughs> medium roast bitter. Yeah. It's okay. It's better than that one for sure. I agree. So, so far, this one's in the lead. <laughs> Next up, we've got the uh, Saison. Okay, hold on, let me go back. Saison. Well, she read the. What? She, she read this. You read this song. Oh, you read this? No, she, no, she, she quietly I just said, said what it. it was. Oh, well. uh, I'm going to get this list going. Dunes. I clicked something and it brought me somewhere else. Okay, our menu. Black lager. I'm looking, lager. I'm Dune Sorel Ginger Saison. Everything in balance and everything in place. Oh, it's place. Sorel. Yeah. That's a happy what young that Saison that sings a floral song of light ginger spice and mild sorrel bitterness. You know what's weird? This Belgian ale I'll try sneaks. It. it grows on me. Sneaks in all these flavors and creates an experience like you have ever enjoyed. And guess the ABV. Oh, it's 8.5. Okay, you knew that. It's okay, a monster. Yeah. 8.5. But it don't taste 8.5 at grown all. It's grown on me. It actually does, yeah. Yeah. It is better. It seems better now. And she told me when I was getting it, she said, you know it comes in a smaller glass. Oh, yes, because I know it's a lower ABV. It's a higher ABV. Yeah. So a higher ABV is going to come in a smaller glass. That's good. That's actually probably the winner so far. Did I think that the Saison would be the winner so you, far? You didn't even want to get it. I You're didn't even like, want to eh. get it. Yeah. And we've got the lager. We take a lager drink, we take a whiskey drink. We take the sound to remind the Okay, do Okay, it says D-Light, an American light lager crafted to quench your thirst and refresh your inner coastal soul. Crisp and light, it just feels right. 4.7. Crisp and light, it just feels right. It's easy drinking, but as weird as it sounds, maybe the Saison, when we had it, changed our whole flavor profile. Maybe. Because it, 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 it's, it's that, pretty. That is easy drinking, but it's just not a lot there. Mm -mm. It's like it's watered down. Ugh, nope, I don't like those. I'm gonna put it behind the black one, <laughs> above the normal one, behind the black one. That is the um, the lager. Delight. Oh no. Okay, yeah. blonde is at the bottom. Hold on. <coughs> blonde yeah. is at the bottom. That one is Delight American Light Lager. And how many percentage is it? Oh shit. Um, I don't know. I just clicked it. Uh, 4.7. 4.7. 4.7. Then we have the IPA, yep. which Bill loves. Yep. Down Under Classic IPA, this Pretty West good. Coast IPA with minimal malt complexity to push the hops to the center stage, 7.8, and it is pretty hoppy. And there's one, I don't know what hops are in this, but there, it's one that I just don't. All right, don't finish it, because I think we might, we might need to do a tie here. Yeah. Nope, I don't like that one. All right, and then last but not least, that's the, the black Caribbean stout. Caribbean, Caribbean stout. stout. Caribbean Sorry. It's black lager Caribbean stout. Okay. Right. A, a tropical stout brewed with healthy dose of black strap molasses, roasted grains and oats, smooth, dark, and incredibly drinkable. It will make you yearn for the Caribbean with every sip. 7%. Not getting it. No. Try it. And it's just like a light, light I'm stout. not getting Caribbean. No, no. Nothing, you, but it, it, like, it, it says, it yeah. says tropical, doesn't it? Yeah. But then it doesn't have any tropical ingredients. No. 
You want like some kind of a fruity backside or a coconutty, something that pulls you to the tropics. I love me a fruity backside. But it just doesn't do that. I agree. So, you know. It's a lighter stout that you could drink in the summer and not feel like super but heavy. out of these that are sitting here, I think that one probably goes to the bottom. No, I, I don't think so. Where do you think it goes? It's, it's better than the... The blonde? It's better than the blonde and the lager. Okay. So we're going to go with the Caribbean stout. And here's what I want to do. I, I, you don't like IPAs. You don't like Saison's. Right. That means I get to decide. <laughs> what's number one and what's number two? I mean, I've just... Look. That IPA has got the hops that I just can't. I mean, I could drink it if I had to, but... You know what's weird? You like that one. After throwing out a Saison <laughs> yesterday. In the yeah. last place we were at. I mean, taste that Saison again. It's weird. It's morphed. It's a better beer. Maybe I've learned to tolerate it. It's not. I, I like IPAs. So. I, got I mean, it's, it's not a bad beer. It, it but it's, be no, no, but here's what I'm trying to say. Since our first sip of it, it has gotten better. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're right. It's warming up, so you're getting more of the different flavors. Stop it with that science. So, we're, we're going to get do, more ginger now. Dunes Brewing, again, their, their list is very short right now, but I want you to give me the full names of the beers, because all I have is their abbreviated names. Yeah. Um, it's the Saison, but what is it? It's the Flight Saison, but does that have a long... Dunes Sorrel Ginger Saison. Dunes Sorrel Ginger Saison. No, 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 but that's a Caribbean okay. fruit. Okay. That should, honestly, that's Sorrel. Should be in there. Should be in there. That okay. is the number one. Uh, followed by, wait, the IPA didn't rank, so we have to give that number two. Because we said that was number two. Uh, IPA is number two. The Black Lager. So what's the IPA? Because not we can't say the IPA. Yeah, yeah. I'm going. Where the fuck is it? There is no IPA. No, there is. <coughs> Down under classic IPA. Down under classic IPA. Shrimp on the bob. All right. And then what one? Then um, uh, the black lager. Yeah, just straight up black lager. Straight up black lager. Uh, Caribbean stout is straight up Caribbean stout. Yep. The one that's lager is probably not called lager. There's um, a better name. Black. Yeah, there's black lager. Oh, Delight oh. is called. Delight. That's my ice cream shop by me. It's called Delight. Yeah. Um, then uh, black lager. So, and then the blonde. The blonde is called. Where'd it go? You have to like really scroll on their website. Mrs. Bums, Bumstead? Mrs. Bumstead's blonde, blonde ale. ale. So, this is Richard and Trish and Pyra Bill from No Pants Profits coming to you from The Dunes. Which, you know, you should do a little. I should. Pass me the camera real quick. Just because it's actually really cool. It's actually pretty pretty. And they have furniture. And but the biggest. It says, it says on the furniture, not for your pets. <laughs> the stag horn. It's got a big old, big old uh, moose there. It's not moose. What? It's a stag. What the hell's the difference between a moose and a stag? It's, it's, there's a difference. It's like a big giant elky deer. It's from Europe. It's, I thought it was a moose for a long time too. It's not. And then they've got a tattooed marlin. That's been tattooed in different colors. A got gator. King chairs. I, I mean, I really, I generally feel like, like I'm at medieval times right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Off with the head. The oyster bar. Oh, the that's from that's the oyster unique. bar. Uh, so yeah, they've got the furniture here, which is uh, not, not for your pets. And the oyster bar. Trish, your mic is still on, so if you're talking something sexy, <laughs> don't. Do you want me to? <laughs> I have to warn people. <laughs> Her mic is still on. So if you're in the Dunes Bar, they've got an oyster, little oyster layout right there, and everything like that. Really pretty. Okay, Trish has disconnected her microphone finally. I just hope I get a hit. After telling all her sexy secrets, this is Richard, Trish, and Pirate Bill from No Pants Profits. Hold on. Reminding you that when you wear no pants and you're in, where are we? Port Orange. Port Orange, Florida. Or Daytona. That's not that Daytona, far. Or Daytona. Or Cocoa Beach. Or this. Or when you're on the west coast of Florida. It's a good brewery. And wait, we're on the west coast? We're on the east coast, you ding dong. Ding dong. 
<laughs> when you're on the east coast of Florida, I need to get something to eat. When you're on the east coast of Florida and you're wearing no, wear no pants, what's the only thing? Oh, look, I love the chandeliers. Right? I love this place. I just like randomly just found the chandelier. And as long as you're here before four, all the beers are only five bucks. And you got the pinball machine. You got a pinball wizard. Okay. When you wear no pants, the only thing you got left to lose is your Saved by the Bell shirt. Yes. Everybody goes, they love our vibe. We go, what vibe? <laughs> <laughs> so it's just kind of every day. It's not for me, usually. That's why I adopted these fools. Look, <laughs> fool number one, fool number two, fool number three. But I'm the original. You adopted us first. That doesn't make you the original fool. Well, no, but I mean, we're the originals. Because you keep saying, you know, you adopted these fools. We were the first people you adopted. No, that is incorrect. T but over 10 years ago, you adopted That's a discussion <laughs> for off camera. Have a great one. Any comments, questions, put them below. Bye.